All right. Wow, those look like nanotech containers. And judging by the color, I bet they don't have anything pleasant inside. See if you can round up more evidence. Yeah, they don't look pleasant at all. In fact, they look like uh, gray death containers. Or I could always use more bio cells. Um, given how much I use the augmentations. 800, very nice. Almost got enough skill points to actually do something. Upgrade something useful. Let's see what's on this thing. Hold on, hold on. That had heard a reverb effect there. That's Actually, a pleasant surprise. <laughs> okay. Okay. Looks like there's nothing nasty here. Sweet. That is the kind of evidence we can use. Good work, Agent Ingram. The MPS will send a team there to take care of the rest. At any rate... <coughs> Shit. The hell? <coughs> Nanotech storage room. Right to the contamination chamber in the back. Move out if you want to live. <coughs> Nanotech storage? Okay, I was in the room. Is this doing any damage? No, it doesn't look like it. So it's just for effect. Ha. Okay. Okay, what next? Okay, there we go. <clears throat> then we got some friends to play with. Where did he... There. Oh, oh. Ah. Alright, alright. Get to have a little bit of action, finally. Why is the bot hostile again? What the hell? Come on. That's a bit annoying. Why is the bot hostile? It was on my side. You got nothing. I don't know. I just disappeared. But stop being hostile. I will throw this crate at you. And nuke myself in the process. That's okay, because I actually have more or less been conserving the, uh, 
health packs kind of nicely so far. <clears throat> All the while, still expecting this uh, fucking. Why did you drop it, Ingram, you fucking moron? Yeah, all the while expecting this uh, fucking rifle to actually do damage. Okay, don't randomly drop it this time. I've actually got something to use this on. Ingram. Okay, there was that other locked door over this way. <clears throat> I would prefer to use this to blow it over using up one of my lambs. And it still hurts me through a door. Alright, so I can break my way into the vents, I guess. Well, in typical Deus Ex fashion, there's probably going to be something useful down here. Also, bizarrely, this uh, section of the vent is somehow a lot brighter than the other, you know, bits of the vent. Despite there being no lighting whatsoever down here. Okay, that's a Okay, those are lights. It's kind of bizarre because they're blue, but the light they are ed emitting is decidedly not blue. And I'm getting the underwater overlay. So I wonder if the intention here, uh, just based on how things are displaying, is to give me a pointless corridor to go down. But also to do a uh, modern game engine trick and do some lazy post-processing color overlays uh, to signify colored lighting rather than using, well, colored lighting. And come on, Unreal. This is the Unreal Engine, man. One of the fancy things about it was the fact that it did colored lighting. Definitely pretty sad that a 1997 engine built by some dude in his garage can do something that some modern developers seem to think they should just replace with putting some lazy post-processing filters that look like shit on the screen. And even worse, doing so in such a way that it's bleedingly obvious, you know, when the transition is made. Also, there's a button here, and I wonder why there's a button at ceiling height level. I guess that's the one that activates the uh, storage elevator type thing. Alright, so that was worthwhile. That was worth the trip, definitely. So just burn a bunch of excess bioenergy by running down the uh, very long vent shaft yet again. With all the really buggy lighting. Am I at the ladder yet? Am I close? I'd really like to get out of here and get onto something a little more interesting than crawling through a completely useless vent. Okay, so now there's water. Somewhere, I guess. Well, I'm not going to go back through there just to uh, see what water did. If I remember right from the uh, LPM I watched of this, uh, 
it didn't really make any difference at all. So I'm going to upgrade it. Demolition, because that could use an upgrade. I guess try to find something else around here. <clears throat> Namely, something in the administrative wing. Hey, you know what? I don't care about you cameras. Because you look at that, I stand right in front of the camera, walk through its line of sight, <clears throat> and it doesn't set up the alarm. And I get a phone call. Alright, so I come back from the phone call, and I hear footsteps. We're just gonna hide here, behind the, uh, security, or the, uh, storage cabinet, and... I think there was one or two cameras that I didn't completely, uh, work with yet. Yeah, that one. Yeah, there's nothing in any of those. Desk's empty as well. Good thing NPCs are mostly deaf, otherwise, uh... <clears throat> that would have definitely given me away. Anything in this set of drawers? Nothing. What about this one? Did ball up. There better be something in it. Yeah, there we go. A key. I'm also almost dead. It's kind of a major thing to take care of, I think. So that's the green office. I'm going to ignore it for a second. <gasps> Nothing. <gasps> Nothing. <gasps> Nothing. <gasps> what about this? Ah, the restrooms. Bizarre doorless restrooms. Hey, he's got a multi tool. As does this one. Very nice. Well, I guess the men are ex expected to never have to uh, sit down. Horribly designed restrooms here. Horrible. <laughs> Not the kind of place I would like to work at. Just so damn dark around here. Lockpick, very nice. And the code is 6580. Oh yeah, I guess you kind of have to put it in the right way. Ah, I guess we got ourselves a little hidden hideout. With a very annoying electric digital buzz sound. Go away. Hello, I'll be with you within a moment. Right now, I just want to... to steal all your shit. Kind of hasty to upgrade something already, but... Uh... Finally, we have a chance to meet. Don't worry, the hatch has been shut, and not everyone thinks that ventilation ducts are worth crawling into. I was surprised to receive an info link all of a sudden, especially right after the one I was just receiving got disrupted. The info link frequencies are being jammed so that the MPS can't contact you, yet the connection's fine inside the factory. Trust me, I don't normally meet people like this. Usually there's far less poisonous gas involved. 
I can imagine. My name is Lian Takara, and I work for the Hong Kong Police and the MPS. Specifically, I've been assigned to investigate any links between a possible terrorist attack in Hong Kong and the one that took place in Sunzhen. I can imagine. The MPS has shrouded many details from me, but this one certainly warrants an explanation. I was assigned by the MPS to monitor the activities of David Jones several months ago. Not everyone in Hong Kong has been corrupted by the triad's bribery or the drug business, which is why my investigation has been hush-hush since the beginning. So David Jones is officially behind everything? This facility is used by everyone who's got something to say on how the city is run. Triads, junkies, cops, Yumashev taking their slice of the profits. However, the section we're in has solely been used by people who have connections to David Jones. I only discovered its location after the Sun Zen incident. So the MPS have been aware of this facility all the time? Seems like an awfully bad business decision, or any kind of decision, to hire someone from the US to pretend he's the one who figured it all out. Oh, how modest of you. The MPS told me to keep on monitoring the section's activities, which coincided with your arrival here. Whatever the suits in Washington dealt with the suits in Beijing won't be revealed to us anytime soon. Yeah, I keep hearing that a lot. Let's stick with the current situation for a moment. What did Joan exactly want to accomplish with this ruse? I think you have to take that up with Joan himself. Maybe I'll bring that up with him once I get back to the city. I'm guessing the only way out is by boat? That's certainly the easiest route. However, Jones' men, ironically, have fixed the security systems in the main building and sealed access to the loading docks. You've got to get back to the main building to reopen them, particularly the access to the Sango loading dock, where you can board a boat and get back to the city. They did something to my info link. I haven't received any messages from the MPS since they have tried to gas me. I assume I can use your means to contact them. You could, if only they hadn't severed all communications outside this facility. It's funny how a few clicks on a mouse miles away can do something like that here. Free market economy and no mainland intervention or not. Giving irresponsible people access to that kind of power just by flashing the contents of their fat wallets shouldn't be accepted as an unquestionable way of life. True, and why stop at communications? Would the people just obey anything without question if someone with access to such grand power said so? Imagine if someone figured out a way to declare the triads illegal and cut down power to the government buildings. Daedalus. Not necessarily someone. So the MPS have been aware that there was something suspicious about David Joan for a long time. And they've kept you here all that time? Yes, that's correct. They called it a huge advancement in the investigation, but so far they've only told me to prolong my stay in here. Makes me wonder if they really wanted me out of the way that badly. Well, for what it's worth, you saved my ass today, and your information has certainly been quite enlightening. I think the authorities need to appreciate your work better. I appreciate the pep talk. Now they've set their eyes on you on solving the case. So unless you want to disappoint them, you better watch your back more carefully. I'll give the proper credit when it's due. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens, right? I better get going. It's time to pay Joan a little visit. I'll open the lower level security door for you. Watch out for any gassy vents. I'll try.
You should get going. We can't let David Joan get away with us, can we? I'll stay true to my objectives and keep an eye out for more monitor flickering. Who knows? Maybe I could get an op bonus. They didn't bring enough gas for a second attempt, and the first batch should have already taken care of you. Lucky you had me watching your back, eh? You should get going. We can't let David Joan get away with us, can we? I'll stay true to my objectives and keep an Oh, yeah.